What is a robot? When you look around in the WeWatch simulation of this class, you will see a couple of robots, some of which are more obvious robots than others. So it's like the Spot Mini from Boston Dynamics, very clearly a robot. The Tiago robot with its arm and can drive around in the environment. There are toys like the Darwin or the Sony Ibo, which are robots by most definitions. But there's also the Tesla car, which is only a robot since um, more recent times when uh, people started to adding sensors and computers to cars to make them drive autonomously. Now, is it sufficient to say um, something that has a sensor to perceive its environment in some way and then make an autonomous decision to um, react to it is a robot? Maybe yes, maybe no. And to illustrate this, I placed this little blue thing here in the environment, which is actually able to quite reliably prevent itself from falling off the edge. And what I often do is when I show this in a real world environment, I ask people how they would solve that, what kind of sensors would they use? And people think about this and probably look at the iRobot Create, which they know doesn't fall off stairs because it has infrared sensors that are looking down or it has bumper sensors uh, that allow to avoid obstacles and so on. And now the question would be, what does this little blue robot do? Now, when you look at it more carefully, you will see that it has not only two wheels, but a third one in front, which we call a caster wheel. And then it has a fourth wheel, which is sitting right here. You see it here, the red thing lurking underneath. And this wheel is mounted orthogonally to the other two wheels. We have a drawing of this whole thing uh, here on the whiteboard, where you see um, the robot from underneath. You see the two wheels that drive it forward. And then you have this orthogonal wheel, which um, drives sideways. Now to better understand what happens, uh, you see this picture here in the center. Uh, this orthogonal wheel is actually not touching the ground, but only does so when the robot uh, essentially goes over the edge, falls forward, and then the flywheel catches on to the table to provide some momentum to the right. So when we watch this again, we can um, actually click on the wheel itself and you see it turning and now we can go into a slow motion and zoom in more carefully to see what's happening and now you see how the caster wheel is hitting the edge the robot falls forwards the flywheel catches ground and swings the robot to the right and now you see there's a lot of physics involved here and simulated it's not the most accurate thing possible, but it works quite well. As you can see, for instance, when the robot hits the wrench and actually pushes it out of the way. So what a robot is, is not really clear. It's not enough that it behaves in an intelligent way. It is not enough that it has sensors and actuators like a coffee machine probably has. Um, but what you need to build a robot is what this course is about. And it will teach you not only the algorithms and math to understand how robots are modeled and how we can design behaviors for them to behave autonomously, but also this idea that a robot behaves based not only on sensors, computer programs, and actuators, but on the overall design of the mechanism, for which I hope this blue little wind-up toy is a good illustration.